Hello, today I'm going to be doing a video that is going to show you how to cut costs on your drug therapy. We call it aerosolizing. Um, if you have some kind of respiratory infection or you have asthma or you have some condition where you have to take what's called a nebulizer. That's what this is right here. Okay, now this is what we call an SVN in the industry or a standard electric nebulizer okay there's different types of nebulizers there's, there's portable ones um, there's other styles there's ones for kids so obviously if a kid's um, asthmatic you want to try to um, make it fun for him or her so they have things like little bears where you can take the treatment through there and then um, so I'm just going to do a standard nebulizer Okay, you can buy these on our website for around thirty dollars. And some of the thing, one of the reasons that drove me to doing this video is, I've been selling these for well over probably around twelve years or more, and uh, insurance does pay for these, but they do it at a at an alarming rate in regards to the allowable on this. And then on top of it, they prescribe what's called albuterol, which is a drug that is put in the aerosolizing cup, which is this right here, okay, and I do have this plugged in. It's just a tubing that goes right into the side of the nebulizer, okay. But the real reason why I'm doing this video is there's a lot of things that drug companies don't tell you about, okay. Obviously, they want the albuterol sale, and there is albuterol. They want you to fill that prescription, um, there are some um, substitutes to the albuterol that they have out, some generics. But I'm going to show you a way where you can not only cut costs, but you never have to go the insurance route again. And this is what people aren't telling you, okay? But I'm going to tell you today. And it's about as simple as it gets, and it's a very little investment. What my goal is, is to get you to completely... Uh, not have to take albuterol anymore. All the people that I've seen on albuterol, whether if it's a child or an elderly man or woman or any single person that has asthma or some t some type of respiratory condition, as you know, seasons change and people are are um, getting uh, sick and they have to go to the doctor. You have to wait around in the doctor's office. And then they prescribe one of these. You have to go pick it up at a, at a uh, medical supply company. And then you have to get your drugs. And then you have to have a bunch of these tubings so you can take it. It's, it's what we call a disposable nebulizer are set. Okay? And it's complete with a T-piece and the um, different variables. Um, you can get a mask. And there's a lot of other uh, things that you can get to attach to this depending on... Um, um, your treatment and some, you know, like with kids, they don't sit still, so they dump the medication out. There's a lot of different ways that you can attach this. But today, what my goal is, is to get you to cut down on the albuterol. I've seen so many people that are extremely jittery on it. And if you have taken albuterol with a nebulizer, you can understand what I'm saying. Basically, you're going to be shaking like this. And the drug is effective, but it has a lot of side effects. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you the cost-effective way to what I feel is effectively treat, treating any type of uh, uh, respiratory condition. I'm not a doctor, but I've been doing this a long time. I've been in the streets for um, outselling this for quite a long time. I've, I've talked to doctors, and I do have over 12 years' experience providing this product so I would consider myself an expert um, and I have recommended this to a lot of people and every single person comes back saying thank you thank you very much you saved me a lot of money and you saved me um, from having to do the uh, drug the uh, pres pres prescribed drug called albuterol okay so what you're going to do is you're going to order one of these for 30 bucks or so um, it comes shipped to your door, and then these are really inexpensive on our site, around 97 bucks. But 
97 cents, excuse me. And um, it does come shipped like this, and I did take it out, and it comes with one of these, okay? But what you're going to do is I recommend kind of trying out different variables, kind of like um, if you're a bartender and you're making a drink, that's the same way to look at um, doing some kind of uh, drug treatment. Uh, your goal is to try to eliminate albuterol as much as you can, but since the doctor did prescribe it, I recommend taking the two cc's that he probably writes in the prescription and maybe maybe cutting that down to one cc. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get some sterile saline. And legally, I can ship 100 ml to you. You can buy this bottle for less than a dollar on my website, Okay. I would suggest getting this and getting some sterile water too. And what I would do is I would mix it, and you can order one of these on our site too. They're really inexpensive. They're like, I don't know, 20 cents. And this is going to be used to pull the liquid up, okay? And then obviously you can shut it right away and, and then reuse it. I know it's not going to be sterile, but um, that's where you... Uh, you would uh, at least take a couple of treatments in one day. It should work, and it, I think it has worked in people that I've had do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and you're going to take the albuterol, and since it's in 2cc vials, you're going to squirt about half of it in here. And if you look here, it's real easy to read it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Okay, it says four cc's right there. Okay, I'm pointing to it. Four cc's, six and two. Okay, what I would try first, it depends on how, how um, severe your condition is. If you're moderate, I'd probably go two cc, maybe four, and go two cc of albuterol, and then maybe two cc of, of the um, sterile saline, and I would just... Take it like this and just squirt it right in there. Okay? So you see there? It's in there. Okay? And then squirt the, uh, the um, albuterol in there. Now, what you're going to do over time, since the doctor's probably going to prescribe three times a day, is you're going to keep cutting down on albuterol and see how you react. If the condition is continuing to get better and better and better, then you're going to add more uh, saline and less albuterol. And then you're going to keep trying that. And if you're not getting any better or the uh, it's getting the um, um, affliction is getting worse, then you would want to go back to what you were doing. But what I've noticed doing this is I've noticed a lot of people that I've recommended this to, that they're able to cut this down to about 0.5 cc of albuterol okay which means that if a doctor prescribes you two cc's and i know you're supposed to do exactly what he tells you um i'm not recommended to do that but i you know i can't tell you what to do or not to do but if you could cut that down um then you will save a lot of money you'll save a lot of time what i also recommend people do if they have a very minor infection or some kind of uh, respiratory condition is just do uh, sterile saline mixed with uh, some sterile water and see if if you get better. I've had a lot of people that didn't even need albuterol and they would turn it on and take uh, three treatments a day for up to 10 minutes. Basically when the medication's gone and it's not in here anymore, that means you're done with the treatment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top on twist it on. I just have uh, about two cc's of sterile saline in here. I don't have any albuterol. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. And then what you do is you just inhale as so. Okay. You can exhale. Now what's very important when you inhale and exhale that you take a full breath. In, inward and a full breath outward, okay? That means you're, you're proper, properly taking the treatment. And then as soon as the medication is gone, 
and you turn it off. Okay? So what my goal is in providing this type of information to you is giving you information on how you can manage yourself and not have to go to any more doctor's office, sit in line, and try to get one of these paid for and try to get your albuterol when you can buy one of these for $35 and get your tubing. And that's the last year probably there's a five-year warranty on this. So really you never have to go to a doctor's office again. You could do the sterile saline. This whole investment probably will run you about 50 bucks a year and it'll get rid of you know most conditions. Um, you know, if it's a little more severe, you might have to get some, uh, maybe some type of uh, antifungus or some additional um, compounded drugs. But like I said, you can cut back by adding this, some saline, some sterile water, and you should be able to manage yourself. You got any questions or concerns, you call me about this, all right, and we'll, we'll talk about it. And I love people that try stuff out and want to give me a good testimonial, I have no problem sending uh, free goods with your order. Appreciate your time, and I'm, ho I'm hoping uh, that I was able to give you uh, some good information. Thanks a lot. Our website's GoSouthernMD.com, and the phone number is 855-528-2539. My name's Robert. Thanks for listening.